Hey everybody, it's Julie. Wanted to show you a few things that I've been working on. I did a swap this month with a couple ladies and we were swapping birdhouses. And this is what I have come up with. Let me show them to you here. Just a second. Let me move them out of the way and I'll bring them in separately. Okay, this first one is one of the uh, shorter but fatter birdhouses, I guess you could say. And what I've done here is I've made a stick pin. I've uh, colored a flower. And this is with the Lindy Stamp Gang. And this is from their 80s collection. And um, I've used the Out of Print collection from Basic Gray. And then I've also done some pearl work on the side. And these were all hand adhered by me one by one. It is kind of tedious, but I think it looks nice in the end. And then you can get your own swirls. You know, you don't have to... You know, you can design how it want, you want it to look yourself. Okay, and then uh, this is a flower from one of the laces I got as a rag. And um, I've painted it black, and then I've also um, sprayed it with my clear glimmer. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see the glimmer on it or not, but it is really, really sparkly. Okay, so that's the first one. And then this next one here is a Halloween themed one. And this is using the Halloween in Wonderland paper from um, Graphic 45. And what I've done here is I've just used some collections of the paper and cut out pieces, fussy cut it, and used some of the, the cut out pages, like this was the cards, I think. And, um, you know, just covered up the the whole birdhouse pretty much. And then I've used some fibers here on the bottom that I got in a rack this month from a very generous flower girl from Your Paper Pantry. And then I have also put uh, ribbons on the top part on the tie. Oop, on the tie. I've just used, um, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, purples, blacks, yellow. So it looks pretty Halloween-y. Kind of spooky. <laughs> And then the, for this next one, this is also another Halloween one. And I've used the um, Martha Stewart Halloween paper from last year. And what I've done here is I've dyed the top uh, red with um, Glimmer Mist, actual Glimmer Mist. And I think this is called Burnt Red. I think that's the color. And then I've tied, since I couldn't get all the way down because uh, the bottle wasn't deep enough, I used um, some black ribbon to tie off the bottom so you couldn't see the white anymore. And then I've used some uh, black pearl trim all around. And I die cut some uh, bats from my silhouette. And if you look in here, I don't know if you can see on the camera or not, but the bats have you, I've used the crackle paint on the bats. This is the Tim Holtz Ranger crackle paint, rock candy. And um, it's crackled up really nicely. And then I used an EK Success Bat Border Punch, the deep one, uh, to go ahead and go around all four sides. And then I've put some black sparkly pom-poms here in the middle. And I've topped it off with this cute little spider that was a piece of trim uh, that I also got in a rack from another wonderful flower lady this month. And uh, it's just a beaded spider, basically. So this is my other birdhouse. So that's what I've been working on. And it has been very very busy here just that's like the same old story for me I think <laughs> busy 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 I'm trying to get caught up on everything and I hope by the end of the day uh, I will have all of my projects done that I need to mail out and I also am going to be mailing out the flower swap from October or from September sorry by Friday um, I think I have all of the participants in now, so I will go ahead and get them sorted today and tomorrow and get them in the mail on Friday. So I hope everybody has a great week, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.